Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Fallout 76 story playthrough. You join me in sitting in the hot tub, fully clothed, because that's how you do it in this game. I just spent, between episodes, spent some time building my first camp here, so I'll give you a look around real quick. Got my bed, my jackalope plushie, because I can't sleep without my plushie, and my incense burner. Got a nice pool table down here and some fortune teller machines and games to play. Of course, all the workbenches to craft. Piano, because sometimes you just need to play piano. We walk outside. You can see this is sort of a little concrete bunker. This is a shooting range, actually, is what it's meant to be. But I'm just using it as like a, a livable bunker. Got my chuck wagon out here for cooking food. And I've got a, a well out here. For water but I, I don't know if we want to drink from that guys because ghosts come out of it when I touch it. The whole thing is powered by a mole rat and a hamster wheel so it's working pretty well for me. This is gonna be our first camp. And then right down the river here 80 distance units away we've got a neighbor Silver Spirals so let's run over there real quick. Okay here we are at Silver Spirals camp. Uh, this game was meant to be played you know with uh, friends so we've brought a friend in to play with us here. Apparently she found this camp full of dead cultists and decided she was going to live here. And there's also this spooky haunted glass. There we go. It, it succumbs to gravity now. So just as a reminder, we're using right now this pump action shotgun. Suppressors, faster fire rate. And we've also got this Medic's Explosive Gatling Gun. And we're holding on to this grenade launcher, which is uh, probably not actually going to be used, but we've got it just in case we want to. So in the last episode, we finished our quest for the Wayward with Duchess. She wanted us to go up to West Virginia Lumber and get the Raiders off her back. We did that. We did that by uh, joining the Raiders, so I don't know if she was entirely happy about that, but we did it either way. And today we're going to pick back up on the Trail of the Overseer, the main quest. So the last bread trail, breadcrumb trail clue we had was to go to Morgantown Airport. So what we're going to do is start walking uh, north northeast up the road here towards Morgantown Airport. Protectron, hostile Protectrons on the road up ahead. Uh-huh. Protectrons, huh? Need so much for protecting. Well, that was Settler's reputation. Now you talked to this guy. You jumped in and helped us out. And that kind of initiative won't go unnoticed. So we just saved these settlers from some hostile protectrons, and that increased our huh? reputation so with them a little. For some reason, this guy likes moonwalking, but... The other hand. You jumped in and helped us yep, out. there he goes. That kind of initiative won't go unnoticed. If the scorched or the ferals don't get you, the rads will. Is he walking weird for you too? He, yeah. He's normal now, but it's like he was trying to keep his body facing you when he was talking to you, but he was walking around. I just thought he was, you know, looking at me like I was a little strange. <laughs> he, he was. Our reputation is cautious, so maybe he was cautious towards us. <laughs> And Blood Eagles. It's a busy road. <laughs> You're gonna need more than that, There's one back. Uh, 
I'm starting to get decently effective with the shotgun, but I run out of AP really fast. We should uh, take this workshop up here maybe too, because that gives you plans. Building plans. I can't build any water purifiers yet. Yeah. Let's take that on the way through. There's a raider. Oh, it's raider punk. You following me, pal? Am I following you? I just need to get out on my own one of these days, you know? All I want to do is get out of this place, get my radio set up somewhere, and talk about the world. How it is now. You get me? You can set your radio up at my place if you want. Because... Because I don't know you? <laughs> he told me to get lost, weirdo. Can you not recruit him? What do I have to do to be able to recruit him? And talk about the world. How it is now. You get me? Perception check. You act like a caged animal. I feel like a caged animal, man. I need to get out of this place. I need... I need the open air. You get me? Look. I got this dream. It eats me up inside. I've been traveling with this crowd for a while, and we're... I need to get away. You feel me? The... Well, uh, don't get me wrong. I, I still want to stop by and hang out with them, see the sights, but I need quiet, calm. I need to hear the world. I got a radio. I know some people. Got a buddy here in Crater, a hunter pal out in Foundation. Know some people all over. I know people. You can set your radio up at my place, okay? Seriously? Whoa, that's out of this world. You got space for me there, right? I don't need much. I just need open airwaves, baby. Here, here, take my radio. Set it up at your place. I gotta make some plans. Tell some buddies. Tell my mom. Oh, yeah, my mom. This is the best day. Oh, man. I'll see you soon. Give me your radio, say goodbye, and meet me at your camp, or at my yes. camp. My life is really turning around. Everybody on the radio is going to be so impressed. Well, he's recruited now. He was very excited after I passed the perception check. Before that, he told me to screw off. <laughs> Quest started. Claim workshop at Gorge Junkyard. The workshop is yours for the taking. Clear enemies. Forge Junkyard. This here is a workshop area. These are places where you can farm resources, but they're also sort of automatic PvP zones if someone comes to attack you. We're on a private server right now, so that won't happen. And to be honest, it practically never happens on public either. But we can claim this workshop for our own if we first clear out the enemies that have taken over. There's one in the house here, I think. I don't know what's going on out there, Silver, but a laser beam just came in the window right next to me. Oh. I bought. Yeah. Oh, that's what was shooting. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, there's some more ticks over here. Ooh, that one's big and fat. Oh, it spit blood at me. I didn't know they did that. No. Completed. Clear enemies. So we can claim the workshop now. 
show you guys a trick. Everyone thinks, or a lot of people think, you need to go up to that thing right there to clean the workshop, like this. Touch it. You can do it from anywhere in the workshop. Just hold down the build button, which is V on PC. And now we're claiming. Did you know that, Silver? I didn't know that. Workshop claimed. I don't really want to build it up, but maybe we can a little bit just to get some resources. Mainly claimed it so we can get plans. See, we just got planned single display shelf. Basic building plans come from workshops when you take them. And this workshop produces junk, concrete, titanium, and wood. Oh, look at all the plans we just unlocked. Yeah. Water purifier small, barricade, guard post, defensive wall, railings, perimeter wall frame. It just keeps going. Okay, I'm going to build a couple of resource harvesters, I guess, since we're, we've already done this. Okay. So you see these... Uh, pits like this are the resource nodes and you select the resource extractor from your menu and it'll highlight green at the nodes that it can be inserted. There we go, there's the junk pile. And one more, the wood extractor. Oh, right here. Okay, so each of these needs 10 power. Go to generators. And because we just, uh, we just took this workshop, we've unlocked medium generators. And I've also got the skin to make the mole rat generators, which is kind of funny. Medium generators only make five power each, so we need two of them per extractor. If you look in the uh, ingredients menu to the right there. See they're all highlighted in green. That means we're using the workshop's resources and not my own re resources. So this is free for me to build these. Eventually we will run out of workshop resources and have to use our own. There we go. All of our extractors are powered. Um, can I build turrets? I can, but you see now in the right menu Gears are no longer green, they're yellow. That means I'm going to spend my own gears to build these turrets. I like to build turrets on top of things because the melee enemies can't reach them. Okay, defend the junkyard. One wave of wild mongrels. Another one. And once you kill enough of them, it'll give you quest objective markers on the remaining ones so you can track them down if they don't want to come to you, because sometimes they don't. There we go, event complete. So now we can leave this workshop and our resource extractors will, over time, extract resources for us. Just unlocked Perforating Magazine for the Combat Shotgun. I'm going to upgrade from this Pump Shotgun to Combat Shotgun as soon as I get enough mods unlocked. Also, somewhere I got the plan for the bow. I don't even know where I got that. Okay, moving on towards Morgantown. I guess we can rejoin the road right out here and walk up the road into the city. Because this whole area right here is the city. We want to make it to this northwest corner of the city where the airport's at, obviously where the quest marker's at. So, some more road travel time. You ready to go? Ready when you are. Sonny makes a good hoagie. Hey there. You also looking for some treasure? There's a guy here who just asked me if I'm looking for treasure. Sure, I'm looking for treasure. Well, I guess it's your lucky day. I found this map, and I ain't got a clue about what it means. You want it? Yes, I'll take your map. Maybe you'll have better luck than I do. Happy digging. 
Just gave me a Savage Divide treasure map. Nice. You want to make a name for yourself? Get yourself a theme song. I just told me I need a theme song. And he's wearing like the <laughs> darkest eyeshadow ever. It's a random junk pile. We want some junk. I got a mop. What are the outskirts of Morgantown here? Let's turn a little more north to head towards the airport. Kind of following the road, just like imagining that it's safer, I guess. I'm not sure that's really true. <laughs> Well, we've made it to Morgantown Station, Morgantown Train Station. As I mentioned before, all train stations and Red Rocket stations have some sort of a workbench that you can use to scrap things, and they all have a stash box. Okay, I just sold off some grenades and spare food, and made about 200 caps. I've got 70 spoiled meat in my pocket. Probably wash my clothes after this. Okay, right across the street from the train station here is the airport, which is our destination. Last we heard about the Overseer, she was on her way here to find out about the responders to get in contact with their main base here. You ready to head in or you got stuff to do here still? Ready. We've got scorched. We were told this was going to be the responders base. But things must not be going well for the responders if there's this much wreckage and dead bodies and scorched around. Here's the control tower. A few more scorched over here. That one did a lot of damage to me with two hits. I probably ought to take a stim pack or something. And the spooky over here. No. Oh. Spooky scorched. Event started collision course. I've stumbled into an event. A trailer full of corpses here. Oh. I don't think I want to tangle with that just yet. Attention all responders. This is a top priority message. Radar has spotted an inbound cargo bot. We've got to secure the landing zone so we can make the drop. We need those supplies, but the cargo bot's going to attract attention, so get ready for a fight. Oh. We got scorched. Got a lot of scorched. Uh. 
Wave one of five complete. Here comes a bunch more. I have a longer range weapon, don't I? Yeah, the Scatling gun. Of course, I don't have any damage perks for the Scatling gun. Seems to be doing the job anyway. Wave two complete, prepare for wave three. Here they come. There's a spooky down here. Wave three complete. Prepare for wave four. I just reached level 25. Can almost one shot them with a normal Vats headshot. Not quite. Here's the cargo bot. Event complete. All right, let's make our way towards the main airport terminal. See if we can, if not find anyone alive, then at least find some clues. Got more Scorch down here. And here's the entrance to the airport terminal. Welcome to Morgantown, West Virginia, home of Vault Tech University. Arrivals. Well, there's a vertebrate crashed through the ceiling, and they're scorched in here. But not looking good for the responders having anyone alive still in here. More Scorch downstairs. Yeah, this place is just full of them.
Oh, there's more. I'm too far away. My shotgun has too much spread from here. I set off the metal detector when I walked through. And then... I don't have an ID card. More scorched. We've got a dead responder with the key card in his hand or in her hand. Closet note. So this is the key card for here, yes. More scorched upstairs. Behind me somewhere too, there he is. Another dead responder hiding in a locked room. Got a hollow tape, so I'm gonna play that. It's been a few hours. I can hear them clawing at the door. I locked myself in a storage closet, but I don't think the door opens from the inside. It's okay. Everything is okay. Acute stress reaction. Panic and emotional distress. Breathe. Breathe. I would guess it's been 24 hours since the attack. The sound of combat has... Is it stopped? They're still outside. I have roughly 8 to 10 weeks. Provided source of fluids. Starvation on set within 10 days. Effects of psychological shock are ongoing, but repressed. I can worry about PTSD later. I, I believe it's been three days. Three nights. Adrenaline has dissipated.
join. Oh, oh it hurts. Flex. And he joined. Ex extend. IP joint. And contract. Muscle. So she locked herself in here when the Scorched attacked and couldn't leave because the Scorched took over the station. Eventually ended up starving and I guess the implication there at the end when she was talking about flexing her finger joint is that she gave up and shot herself before she starved to death. Bad end for the responders here. Except for this one guy who's just randomly asleep in this room. So if you know anything about the history of this game, you know that originally there were no human NPCs. And then with the Wastelanders update, they were added. This guy was added with the Wastelanders update. And sometimes uh, the new stuff that was added just doesn't really mesh with the world. Like we're supposed to believe this guy's just sort of casually sleeping in this room here while everything else is going on out there. Another visitor to the responder's graveyard. You must be pretty good to have gotten past all those mutants out there. Come to pay your respects to the fallen? Yeah, I'm here to pay my respects to the responders. That's good. It's important to honor the memories of those we lost. I got a brother around here somewhere, or maybe somewhere else. All I know. He was one of these responders. Came to check on him. It was a few years too late, looks like. Now, I'm just marking time while the cancer eats me up from inside. In the end, none of us can escape our fate. We'll all be food for the worm. We have to make our lives count for something. That's just the kind of thing Marcus would say. Me, I just looked out for myself. Now I'm still alive, but he's long gone. Did his life count for something? I don't really know. He and other responders saved a lot of folks, but they all died eventually. Now they all dust in memories, and even those will fade in time. Anyway. Guess you've listened to me ramble on long enough by now. What can this old man do for you? I'm sorry for your loss. Is there anything I can do for you? Well, that's right kind of you to ask. Can't remember the last time I met someone with good manners. Kindness like that deserves a reward. This is supposed to help with radiation. <laughs> Won't do me much good now. So yeah, you take it. This place is dangerous. Why do you stay here? Well, I don't think it matters much how dangerous this place is. If one of those mutants don't get me, cancer will. But I guess what keeps me here is just knowing this is where my brother died. Call me a superstitious old fool, but... I want my spirit to have to walk too far to find his. Thanks for your time. Sometimes all I got left, but I don't mind sharing it. You be safe out there. And we've got another overseer's cache right here. So some ammo and some food. Some plans, including a plan for a small backpack, so we can upgrade our backpack now. A little purified water, and Overseer's Log, Morgantown. Let's listen to that. Overseer's Log, Morgantown. I used to love coming here on weekends, taking flight lessons. Now it feels like I walked into a nightmare. Those scorched things are everywhere. I kept quiet, 
They didn't see me. I managed to observe them for a bit. Whatever this disease is, it seems to completely take over its host. The ones that used to be human, eventually they go rigid, like some kind of stasis. And if they stay like that for too long, they sort of burn up from the inside out. Vesuvius in reverse. I wondered what could possibly cause all this. And then I got my answer. It swooped down from the sky, screeching, breathing, infecting everything. I don't know how to fight this. But we need to consider all our options. Even the nukes. We find the source of this scorched plague and wipe it from the map before it can leave Appalachia. But first things first, we can't let the disease spread to us. Looks like the responders were developing some kind of inoculation. I'm going to pick up their work. You should too. This is the Overseer, signing off. So according to the Overseer there, those uh, petrified corpses, petrified bodies we've been seeing around, those are the Scorched. If they stop moving for too long, they turn into that. And she was wondering where uh, where the Scorch Plague came from, and she thinks it's from those big Scorch Beasts, the big bat thing we saw outside. She said she left here looking for the inoculation project, so that'll be have to, that'll have to be where we track her down to next. So we need to find out more about the inoculation project somewhere around here. But before that, I noticed a couple of other holotapes around the room. Let's take a listen to those. Look at this note real quick. And then we've got one right here. Maria's last words. My name is Maria Chavez. This old body and I am about to die. About Scorched have overrun our defenses. They're coming for us all. If you find this, please listen carefully. We were called the responders. After the bombs fell, we tried, we tried to help people. Maybe I can still help you. The terminal nearby, it, if it's still there, use it. Learn about the inoculation project. It might just save your life. Oh shit, they're, they're here, they're here. I'm out of time. Read the terminal, learn about the scorched. Remember us. And good luck. Well, that holotape told us to read in the terminal about the inoculation project, so there's our clue of where to go to get that information. Got one more holotape right here. Report on Harper's Ferry attack. Hey everyone. This is Derek. Making my final report on the events at Harper's Ferry. Hopefully this reaches you all safely. Whatever happened here, it, it was big. The whole area is... It's, it's devastated. If any of our people survived, I, I can't find a trace of them. I talked to some of the locals. They say creatures came from the sky and laid waste to the town. Some of the ones who got hurt in the attack were transformed or something. They apparently turned into monsters attacked anyone they could reach. Riley says he and his people are gonna seal themselves up in their bunkers and try to figure out a way to fight these creatures. In other words, we won't be getting any more help from these Free States guys. Maria, I was hoping you could get in touch with Ella, see if maybe she can lean on Riley a little, get him to see that this isn't the way. If you ask me, I, I think it's damn selfish of them to turn their backs on the rest of us people who need their help to survive. Uh, there's nothing else I can do here. I guess we can scratch Harper's Ferry off the map. I'll be heading back soon. I like that. 
but I, I want to check in on some of the farms along the way. Should be about a week. Sounds like Harper's Ferry was pretty devastated by Scorch Beast attack. And there was a faction out there called the Free States that uh, some of them survived the attack, but they decided to retreat into their bunkers instead of staying outside to fight and help anyone else. So the responders could no longer get help from the Free States. There's a door here we never opened. Body laid out on the table. I guess this was like a makeshift operating room. Responder corpse. So back over to the other end of the airport where we were before. Where we were told to learn about the inoculation project. This hangar. Upstairs. Nice random loot right here. There's a scorched foot in a jar. Inoculation project announcement. Dr. Hudson's continuing her research in the lab at AVR Medical. She just reported in to let us know she's made a significant breakthrough. It looks like an inoculation against the Scorch Plague could soon become a reality. Let's keep our fingers crossed and do everything we can to help Claire complete compete her work. We first learned about Scorch Beasts from the Brotherhood. Soldiers encountered the creatures to the southeast. Nobody believed that they were describing could be real. We thought it was a bullshit story giving the Brotherhood an excuse to commandeer our ammo and supplies. We were wrong. Scorched Plague. Living creatures that come into contact with a Scorched Beast sometimes begin to mutate. Higher mental function eventually disappears, replaced by extreme, almost animalistic aggression. You know, I forgot we took that workshop, but I just got a notification to defend the workshop. Okay, mission complete. We have learned about the Scorched Inoculation Project. Or at least we have learned that we need to go to AVR Medical to learn more. For that, we're going to need to head south, all the way down here, which is the city of Charleston. But first, we just got a notification that our workshop is under attack, so we need to go back and defend that. Defeat the mole rats, two waves. Maybe the mole rats are attacking because I'm using their babies in my generators. <laughs> it's in this bus. Attacking a cooking stove. Well, let's harvest our resources. Okay, for the ore, any kind of ore, that was black titanium, but whatever you have, you need to go to a chemistry station. And you can select the smelting menu. And you use your ore and acid to turn it into a junk resource. Alright, I think we're going to call it an episode here. We made it to Morgantown Airport. Unfortunately, the responders base has been pretty destroyed. Everyone's dead there. But we did see that the Overseer passed through there. And the Overseer said she was next going down to AVR Medical in Charleston to try to learn more about the inoculation project. 
so that we can hopefully get a vaccine to the Scorched Plague. Next time, we're probably going to start making our way down to Charleston and see that. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.